Recording has started. I need to move my chair. <clears throat> Clear my throat. The usual stuff when you're getting ready to blow your mind with amazing skills and abilities, geoguessing around the world. And I just felt like doing a theme today. And this theme is Where's that McDonald's in the world? I don't know. I felt like doing it. Um, if you yourself have a uh, suggestion for a map that you would like to have me try or any other game in general, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I will look at them and probably do them. This one. I don't know. This is a very sad looking Ford F-150 bothered putting a uh, GMC logo on. This very much looks like this man's entire belongings. <clears throat> Depending on what uh, day of the month it is, he could be moving. He could also just be living out of his truck. Um, you can see that he has a uh, what's it? It's like a storage thing you put in your truck. He has a second one on top of that. Although these bags do look a little dusty. <clears throat> it could also be the light off of it. He could have been doing this for a little while. Anyway, enough about that. How we doing? We are uh, trying to find out exactly where we are. Looking at very busy McDonald's, man. What is on the lens of this car? I don't know. <clears throat> Hold on, let me let me do a cough. How we doing? Thank you all for the continued support and watching, especially with the most recent. You guys are there in Kansas. Very exciting, I know. We're in America. I just don't know where just yet. Um, yeah, we're plugging away at those states. We'll get through them eventually. Um, I figure with this, I would... Keystone. Well, that could be... This, this thing right here is really bugging me. BP... British Petroleum, there are certain sections of the U.S. that certain gas stations exist in. <clears throat> At least in my state, BP doesn't exist, or if it does, it may be a, um, a uh, gas station, that's it. This is also an Aldi. Aldi's are not, they're more of a uh, s um, southeast regional thing, like down here. Apparently they're going out of business. Tragic. I've never been to one, but Keystone. I don't know anything where this is, and I'm getting a little concerned with a minute 22 left about where we are and the location of said um, McDonald's. Oh, shit. Oh, I almost thought this was the same one, but no, it's a different truck with a bunch of shit in the back of its vehicle. Cons, wines, and spirits. Um. There was, it's like a, <clears throat> that's a dumb name for a company. It's almost like a, a, a rite of passage, at least it was for a while. I don't know if it is so much anymore of, uh, man, I was going to see what that bus was. Indianapolis Public Schools, huh? Okay. We've done this state of one of your first jobs, if not the first job, was uh, working at a uh, McDonald's. And I wasn't any different. I worked at it. Fucking hated it. I mean, it wasn't my first job I ever had. That one was kind of fun. This was one I did when that ended. Like, I, I threw out just like, your parents were like, you gotta get a job. And like, threaten. You know, it's just the stuff making you want to go out and uh, make money. Otherwise, we're gonna like charge you or we're gonna do some other shit. Basically force you to, uh, here we go. We're right there. Basically force you to have to um, no, we were actually outside. Who would have thought that there's more than one McDonald's in a giant metropolitan area? It's like, you get a job or, uh, or else. And I didn't want to find out what the or else was, so I, uh, <clears throat> went ahead and got the job. This feels very Southeast Asian. Not just because of the pagoda, well, not pagoda, just Oshi, just the rat's nest of cables that just screams regions of the world that if I was an electrician I'd be like oh god this is scary all right we are down here trying to 
figure out exactly what language that is, but we move on. We'll find it eventually. But I, too, as an adolescent, worked at a McDonald's for over a year. I was actually there. I was in the back because you got you got the two p two sides of the house basically. You got the front of the house, which is all about uh, running the register, <clears throat> doing drive through shit like that, and then you got the back of the house, which is cook. Oh man, I'm dying here. Cook everything. And I was in the back on the cook everything. I didn't want to deal with people any more than I had to, so I was just in the back. And oh boy, let me tell you. I don't think it's just a a matter of human nature of making more of a big deal out of whatever it is you are doing because, you know, you're involved with it. You're like, oh, shit, this is me. This is what I'm doing. This is very important that this gets done or this person screwed me over doing this. How dare they call out? Now I've got to work to cover their shift, you know. It's all the little things just because it's like, ugh. We're, We're all flipping burgers, but really. You napping? Could be. Where is this? Thai. Well, we got Thai, so I'm just going to say we're in Bangkok. I mean, I, I'm sure we're not, but I'm going to locate us here. Um, I mean, honestly, it you worked another extra hour just because someone called out because they too, as a teenager, didn't want to come into work. It was... Those people who run those jobs, like, manage those jobs, it's just... It's it's a level of bullshit you got to deal with that. It's masochism. That's all I can really call it. Because you're basically hurting cats. And these cats are more assholes than cats. They're teenagers. And they all feel very entitled. I was no different. I was like, I don't want to do this for work. It's just a dumb... It's a dumb job. I'm kind of forced into doing it. This wasn't any different. Um, <clears throat> I always held the... Um, I forget what the word is called, but like if you were to actually ever, if I was to run as a politician for something and one of my like core tenants is like, this is what I'm running on. One of the things I would say is everyone has to work a food service job or at least a customer facing job at least once in their life. That's like my version of conscription. There's no like military. You don't need to be in the military. You just need to work food and then you can at least appreciate and not be such well potentially not be such a huge massive asshole and a level of entitlement if you had not worked in uh food because i'm a big like idea of like understanding people like uh i've never seen hitchhikers guy but there's like the point of view gun i think they call it this is kind of along the same lines as that that you just understand other people's point of view and where they're coming from and then you're like okay i get what you're saying and where you're coming from we were close enough over here in patia city i wonder if this mcdonald's has a name it does not next to the blue old rhythm bowl though cool another bp Hmm. well this one's uh Dot com. Why does this scream English? Yeah, because license plates. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, the, the signage here made me very much feel. We're on Sandwich Road in Whitfield. Good old Whitfield. Got the chicken legend range, huh? Good old regional McDonald's having their own special little menus compared to other places. I need to get right here. I need to see this. Dover, White Cliffs Buff Park. Dover, well, that's also Delaware, but I know that's not. It's the Cliffs of Dover, the A2. Now, my short time playing um, Civilization knows that one of the wonders of the world is the Cliffs of Dover. Now I just have to find the A2. There's the A2. Where is, there is Dover. Dover Castle. Where is the Dover? A258. I'm going to see if I'm actually 256. 
Oh, I am actually going to try very hard to make sure I'm clicking on the correct location instead of going where my face is, where the flag is. I got I to gotta remember that. There's Ramsgate. And I feel like I was in so many thousands of, like, loose end strings, yarns of things I was talking about. There's the Cliffs of Dover. Definitely want to go see those someday. Then now I've kind of forgot where I was on anything. I mean, it's not really that important. There's the BP. There, McDonald's has to be close to the BP. Because there's only one McDonald's. There's only one BP. We got a donor. We got a coffee. Cinnamon Island. Come on, where are you? Good old Greg's. Allotment. Turkish Delight. Happy Friar. Papa John's. Tea Cafe. Hmm. All right. What we're going to do now is since we're kind of near a roundabout, there will be a sign potentially somewhere saying where we are. And I'm hoping to uh, come across that. Maybe this way. Here we go. Dover North. So maybe we're out here a little bit. Let's. Uh, I mean, Whitfield? There's a BP McDonald's Whitfield. We're right there. Okay. We're like right there on Sandwich Road. Nailed it. Okay. Anything else I was babbling about? McDonald's pretty much got to. It was just, it's, it's, it's not like a necessary job, but at least everyone at some point in their young adolescence should work a customer facing job or teach your kids not to be assholes when they grow up but you know do what you can um i don't think there's anything else with mcdonald's no um hard pivots i guess i don't know we can go yeah because i totally <clears throat> didn't think of talking about that on monday i got sidetracked talking about a wonderful state called kansas i uh for the first time and <clears throat> i got a cough again pardon me for the first time in a very long time, probably since like 2005, I think it was, I went for an eye exam. And there's some weird things I learned um, going to this one. Well, we're uh, in France, or at least a French-speaking location, because EC is here. It's probably order here, if I had to guess. Um, uh, let's see if I can remember exactly what it's called. Uh, a... I think it's Cronial Nevis. It's like C H R O N I A L N E V I S. They're two separate words. Anyway, it was a uh, thing that I didn't know existed. Apparently, I have one that your eyeballs, if you're if you're not aware, you can actually get a, a mole on your eye. Like it's it's a thing. It it when he when he told me that the the doctor I'm like what and then you know of course he went to the whole explanation yeah because you know I guess it's like any other sort of maybe not skin cell I don't know if eyeballs are like a eyeball cells are like a deviation of skin cells or something but anyway he said yeah you uh, can totally get them they're not uncommon. And one in 9,000 apparently can get, like, malignant or concerning, I think he was saying, and wants to keep an eye on it. <laughs> so I got to go back every couple of years, which I should be doing anyway. Thankfully, I have amazing insurance for it. But, yeah, he, the, the little thing he was showing me, uh, the, it's kind of like an x-ray, but it's not an x-ray because it's just a really bright light that they scan your eyeball with to see the things in the back. Um, there's two centers of your eye, I guess you can say, or like important things in the back of your eye. One of them is like the optic nerve, and then the other part is like in the center of the eye that both eyes use to like focus on a thing and get three dimensional. <clears throat> the uh, freckle mole, excuse me, he he was very sure to tell me, no, it's a mole. Don't call it a freckle. As I probably just said, not realizing, I probably have. 
um, is down and to the left on my left hand eye, left side eye. And it potentially could get bigger, and I don't know what happens when a freckle goes over that center of your eye, but we'll find out if it grows that much. Anyway, oh, I got a cough again. Eyeballs are a little worse. Um, got new glasses. Shout outs to insurance. And it was funny how I like, I, um, I'm like actively bad with my, uh, adult stuff. And one of those things is paying attention to my, uh, insurance. And I should pay attention to this stuff more than I do. I definitely do not. Centerville, where the fuck is. Blog knock, Saint Martin, Saint Martin do touch. Like I'm gonna get a very bad score on this because I don't know where this is. <clears throat> Blog knock. I'm just gonna put it down there and see. Oh, feels like it's on a border. Like maybe if I could do over here, six one and six two. See, these are different road signs, which has me very much concerned that we're like here. I'm going to get a bad score. Are we like Luxembourg? A61s? Nope. Are these A's? Nope. Oh boy. We got N's and we got A's here, but they're a different color. Ah, uh, fuck. Okay, it was in Toulouse, huh? Yeah, the colors are different. I got this country right, at least. I mean, that one wasn't very hard getting a country. Well, we're here in Korea for the last one at the Geeky Motel. Mm, was there anything else from that this weekend? No. That got done. I can't think of anything else of, of, of note or at least babbling on about. Um, I'm going to click probably in Seoul, just to say, but, you know, this very well could be any of a million densely populated locations in South Korea, because if you're not completely aware, there's a lot of people in a very well-developed uh, country here. Anyway, let's see, can I tell off of here? No, I can't. Um, yeah, McDonald's. I mean, at the time, I probably hated it. I did it long enough. I think more of it was just out of like, that's what I do. I did it on weekends. It was my, uh, I work like sometimes Friday nights, mostly Saturday mornings. And when I worked Saturday mornings, that was like the uh, old lady shift that all the older ladies, there was a bunch of them. I mean, if you're not aware, there's a huge turnover rate if you're not surprised, of people working at McDonald's, like, people quit and started that thing so fast. Why can't I see the road number for this? Um, but those people, they were, they were extremely fast, extremely militant <laughs> on their uh, diligence to get things done. Like, an order came in, it was like DEFCON 6. They were making sure that order got fucking done and fast. And I was just going into a like, oh, man, it's fucking like 8 a.m. I'm tired. I shouldn't be awake this early. I got to do this stuff. And they're just like, oh, my God, we got an Egg McBuffin. That thing should have been out six minutes ago. And they always threw me on those shifts. And it was fun just being in that bee's nests of just expediency and necessity to get things out. And get them out like a minute before they order them. Everyone always doing their drama. As I complained, it was it was <clears throat> a sight to hope behold. And it was basically like I had a whole system set up. I mean, this was back. I think I might have worked there in maybe ninety nine, maybe ninety eight. Did minimum wage. At that time, minimum wage, I think, was $5.15 an hour. I worked just enough where um, every paycheck, I could pay for my gas in my car. 
And if I worked all three days, I think I was able to actually afford a CD, which were about 20 bucks at the time. <laughs> and that was just my life of, I go to high school, work on Fridays, Saturday I'd work too, Sunday sometimes I would, Goryong. Let's see if I can find Goryong. I found something close. I'll put us there. And yeah, I, barely, I made just enough to pay for gas and a CD. If I tried to splurge and maybe go to a restaurant or something, oh God, that would just throw everything out of whack. <clears throat> Worked there. Food wasn't free. You got a discount on the food. Could not buy a value meal. You had to buy all the individual pieces themselves and then get the discount off of that. It was it was a very, uh, oh, we were in Daegu. Okay. It was a very uh, regimented system. But it was just one of those jobs you took. And that was our country, uh, global tour around random McDonald's. Interesting things, interesting times. Anyway, that's going to do it for Wednesday again. Thank you all for watching. If you have any suggestions for maps or games or anything else, any of your liked, favorite comments, subscribes, comments, concerns, questions, insights, observations, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I will read them and get back to you. One more day this week to go when we shall uh, reconvene to uh, go ahead and get some more locations around the world. See you then, folks. Have a good one.